We had one girl came for a week and resigned because she said it was too much hard work. We've had two lesbians. We thought were cousins, shared a room. He knows exactly what he wants. He wants a blonde female with a ponytail. Mum, just how I like them with a ponytail and blonde like that. How old is he? Four. He said our last au pair was a dipstick. Can you believe it? Four. Jackie Robry runs her business from home in Berkshire, supplying animals for the film and TV world. She can train anything from a dove to a reindeer, but right now, her biggest challenge is finding a new au pair. We need an au pair, basically, that's comfortable with everything. Goats, ponies, dogs, cats, birds, chickens, and then Rooney the wallaby. <laughs> isn't he lovely? Isn't he the most adorable thing? I think they get a bit of a shock when they first come here. Jackie's had numerous au pairs since Josh was born and still finds it hard to get that perfect person who can work with children and animals. Oh, that was a bit of a flop, wasn't it? What's happened? That was... We had this one au pair. I said to her, can you prepare some lunch for Joshua at one o'clock, please? The next thing, I came into the house and there were 24 fish fingers cooking, well, they were nearly burnt, in the oven. So I said, why have you cooked 24... two packets of fish... Why have you cooked two packets of fish fingers? Um, I asked Joshua how many he wanted. I said, he's three. He, he, he can't tell you how many fish fingers he wants. He, apparently he said 20 and seven. But there weren't 27, so she did 24. Come here, you've got a hair in your eye. Oh, I can't get it out. You've got, I haven't got any nails. Mine are all chewed off. It's the stress of finding an au pair. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to shut this door because Rooney's awake and he might get out and then the dogs will eat him. Come on. That's Paddy and that's Trixie and that's Perry. You know? This is the pony that pulls the sleigh at Christmas. This is Mooey. This is Lamb Lamb and Chop Chop. Jackie's placed an ad on an au pair website and checks out the next batch of hopefuls. We were thinking about taking a guy from Slovakia. Can't speak any English, though. Can you imagine? How would I tell him what to do? Like, should we do some work now? What? So, I don't know. And also, how could he come for an interview? We'd have to have him for a weekend. What if he arrived and we hated him? Be lumbered with him, wouldn't it? It'd be like going out on a date with a bloke and you've got to have a dinner with him. You sat there through the whole of your dinner thinking, my God, what am I doing here? He's a dork. There's another one here. Now, this one is really good. Look, hi, uh, my name is blah, 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 and I'm interested in this position. I have been living, living in Zimbabwe. I've had lots of animals, two horses, three dogs, two cats, chickens, cows, goats, birds, and fish. Every morning and night, I would clean and feed all the animals. I'm good with children. I'm an experienced horse rider, and I have ridden since I was six years old. I have competed in many show jumping shows, and my grades were E and D. I love to work with any kind of animal, and... Jackie thinks this candidate looks good on paper, and she's off to the station to pick her up. They're a bit nervous. You just don't know what they're going to look like. Are you going to get on with them? Is it going to be hard work? You know? So we'll have to see. Oh, do you know what we do? The toilet roll test, it's brilliant we do. What we do is we put an empty toilet roll on the holder, and then when they want to go to the toilet, we see if they have the initiative to change it. It's called the toilet roll test. Come on, then. Oh, let's go see if we can find her. Oh, Mama's hand. Oh, Mama's hand. Michelle? Yeah. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. Mm -hmm. I'm Michelle. Hi. How are you? Michelle Palmer is 24 and just arrived from Zimbabwe. Her mother died recently, and now there's nothing to keep her in Africa. So we'll take you home and okay. 
have a chat, shall we? Yes. Yeah. She's never known her father, but she believes he lives in the UK. Thank you. Come on, then. She's come to England to search for a new life, and it begins with Jackie. Our au pairs come and they just can't get away fast enough from us. It'd be nice to make a long-term, you know, friend. Just want to know a bit about, about yourself, really, and then, then I can just briefly tell you that what we're looking for is an au pair. Um, we do have a list of house rules here. Things like no bathing or showering before 8 in the morning okay. or after 8 at night. Over the years, Jackie's interviewed so many au pairs that she's got a well-honed list of questions for Michelle. Yeah. Have you got a boyfriend at the moment? No. Right. I broke up with mine in Zim. OK. Yeah. Uh, if you do get one, we would prefer that you went to his house and that he didn't come to our house. OK. Please don't invite any friends over. Okay. If you want to see your friends, then you can go and see them on a the weekend. And would they be able to come and collect me? You can come and collect you. But if you do go out of an evening with them, I would prefer that you didn't come home late. Yeah. Okay. No nine o'clock. Could you be in by nine? Yeah. You don't smoke, do you? No, no, no. no because we not. definitely said on the gum tree, non-smoker, no, and we no. don't want a smoker. No, I, didn't. No. I don't even want anyone that thinks that they can manage going for a little ciggy, because I'll smell it and um, wouldn't want it around Josh. Do you want to just tell me a little bit about your background, why you've come to England, where you're from and your family, just briefly? Okay, well... From Zimbabwe, um, one of the reasons why I came over here was um, back home, there's nothing for me, and my mum passed away, so um, I just uh, need to start a new life and take each day as it comes. And hopefully if things pick up over there, then you maybe one day you'll go back. I don't think so. I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'd like to go back there, to be honest. Okay. Josh has beat you to your room. Oh, wow, That's your look room. at that. What are you doing in there, Josh? <laughs> Oh, this is lovely. Wow. This is really nice. Oh, there's See, a I told TV. you once he got to know you a little bit, he'd chat. Now he's changed, hasn't he? Now he's jumping back in your room. Looks what like do you think then, Josh? Do you like Michelle? <clears throat> do you like her? Is she nice? Yeah, he's obviously... He obviously likes you. <laughs> That's <laughs> a good thing. <laughs> oh, it's beautiful. And that's the little shower room in there. So if you do want to have a shower... Course... Michelle will start tomorrow. She's on the standard au pair deal, £100 for a 25-hour week. But more importantly, she can now start looking for her father. I've never met him before. The first time I found out I had a real father, I was 14 years old. Um, that's another reason why I've come over here. He could be dead, he could be alive, and I don't even know... Well, he obviously doesn't know that my mum's passed away. I don't know if there is such thing as a perfect au pair, whereas some might be good with animals, some wouldn't be so good with the children, and some would be good with children but not so good with the animals. But you're not going to get somebody that's good at everything, are you? Because they wouldn't be coming to be an au pair for £100 a week, would they? You know? She'll sweep through, have a bit of a hoover. Who's the lamb? Hmm? I'll do a bit of a clean up, shall I? Yeah, I think we better. Do you stay in watch television with Michelle? It's the new au pair's first morning, and Jackie's got a full and varied programme for her. Get him dressed. I'm going to do. Tidy up. And don't let the wallaby out. No, I won't. Tidy the lounge, yeah, sweep through. Right. Tidy the bathroom. Tidy the kitchen. Put all the boots and coats back in the boot room. Boot room, OK. I've been brought up from very strict regulations and that, so that's it's nothing different, no shock to the system. And you don't find being in, having to be in at nine a bit early? Yeah, that is a bit early. <laughs> I'm used to, like, three o'clock in the mornings from the nightclubs, but um, if, you know, if I go out and have a few drinks, I don't mind, that's, that's no problem. This is Joshua's clothes here, OK? Excellent. Pants, yeah. socks, shirts, shorts. Okay. I'll be outside then. Hmm? I'll come back to see you in an hour. All right? You stay with Michelle. Good boy. Yeah. Tea up so we can have a tidy up. 
it's good fun here, you know, it really is good fun here. You know, we like to relax in the evening with a glass of wine or two, or three or four. We're not tight. You know, we, when they come, they're part of the family, they eat with us, we all sit around the table, we have a few drinks. You've done the lambs, haven't you? Yeah. Come on, I've got to go and get more food to mix with us. You get in your food now, just be patient. Uh, Michelle, come here, Minnie. Yeah. Quick, quick, quick. Michelle! No, don't come in, come here. Yeah. Right. I just want to say, because I wanted to show you, see these dollops of poo? Yeah. Reindeer poo? Yeah. Can you, um, come, come here, in here later with a pooper scooper and just pick them all up? Okay. Have you ever met a reindeer before you came here? No, <laughs> from Zimbabwe you don't get those things. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't expecting to come to all of this life. What did you get there then? Elephants, zebras, I had in my backyard on the farm, it was wonderful. Elephants? Elephants, yeah, zebras, impala, kudu. All sorts. And we had a lioness in the backyard. It's quite different for you here in Absolutely. a way, isn't it? Very different. Very different. After breakfast, you need to get a shovel and scrape all this poo out of here. <laughs> How do you feel about picking up the poo? You don't mind? No, back home I used to do it, so... What, elephant poo? No, not elephant poo, definitely. It wouldn't, get, it wouldn't see me going close radius to an How elephant. How big is a pile of elephant poo, Michelle? Do you watch the movie Jurassic Park? Yeah. Or something like that. Well, I'm sure she can't see me here. Oh, lovely. Right. Save this because these cost so much money here. Yeah? Because they lie so much, you know. They come over, oh, I can do the job, you know, you tell me what you want me to do and all this. And yeah, I can ride a horse. You know, they get on backwards and you realise they can't. I want to see you ride. You know, you've come, you've come for the job saying you can ride. You might be like everyone else. You might, might not be able to. I mean, I know you've got a job, Puss. Well, at least she knows what a saddle and bridle looks like. It's a bit of a result, isn't it? Yeah, she seems, um, you know, confident around the pony. So she obviously has had her own pony before. You can tell you just a towel, can't you? Look, whoa! <laughs> Did you see that? Potential there. We could put her in a western or something, couldn't we? You see a flam there. Michelle, what sort of mountain was that then? Cowboy style. <laughs> Make sure your girth's tight. Yeah. She looks the part, doesn't she? How is she? She's lovely. You like her? She's really nice, yeah. Oi. Right. You're going to have a little cant around when you get to here. Push on. Go on, give her some legs. She's going to stop. Get on. What's she like? She's got a little moon on her bottom, that pony. See? Big moon, a man in the moon on her bum. Man on the moon on her bum? She has, is not she? On her fat bum. Hey! Michelle had her own horse back home in Zimbabwe. When she decided to leave, she couldn't find anyone who could afford to keep him, and he had to be put down. I just still get a lump in my throat thinking about it. Yeah, it's really cut me deep. Horses have been my life, so was the hardest thing I had to do. OK. One, two, three, jump. Hold on to his leg. Hold on to your hand. Please. All right, then. Would you oh. eat ponies like this in your country? Eat. No. Can you hold on to his leg, please, like you do? Come on. Sheesh, I'm being really spoilt. So I'm having a pony to ride. To be honest, Jackie, I didn't think I'd ever ride a pony again when I came over here. And I'm just so glad and grateful that I found you and really? your family, yeah. Well, you better make sure you behave then and work hard. <laughs> of course I will. I'm from Zimbabwe, we all work hard. <laughs> <laughs>
she was only here for a couple of weeks and then it was the anniversary of her, her mother's death on the Tuesday, two years of my mother's death. And it's just like made me feel so sad for her, you know, a young girl like that, all the way over here with nobody. I was born in South Africa. I went from South Africa into England. After I was six, I came to Zimbabwe and lived there ever since. <laughs> that is my grandfather, Dennis, teaching me how to swim, or well, trying to. <laughs> This was in 1988, and she passed away 2004. She was still fit as a fiddle then. Very touching, very um, very hard. But it's um, it's it's nice for me because that's the only way I can get to see her now and to get you know to hear her voice. Um, that's all I have of her left, really. Her mum was ill and then her mum died and, um, um, but you know, I don't, I don't really like to bring it up because I think it's quite sad for her, she's only young. Michelle's an only child. Her mother was just 49 when she died of lung cancer. Just the two of us, that's why we got so close and now that she's gone I just, I feel like the half of me is gone. I said to her, do you want to have the day off? Is there anything special you'd like to do? Shall we shall have a day off with you? Shall we go somewhere? She said, no, I just think I'd like to work, she said. And then, you know, I can just, um, you know, just work my way through it, she said, and not, you know, worry about it. Put it, put it, but try and put it behind me. Is it going on? Is it going on? sitting in England in the cold? I think she wants to find her dad now. She'd like to find her dad. And I know he's English, so it would be quite nice if she did. Michelle's parents split up when she was a baby, and she's never met her father. Her mother stayed in Africa, and her father came back to England. I've got his real birth certificate, so I would like to know if he's still alive, where he is. I need closure, you know, so I don't really know anything about him. I have a photo of him. I've actually got on my windowsill behind the curtain there, holding me as a baby. Well, the last I heard, he was in London, and that was 10 years ago. So, and I haven't heard from him since or about him. So I don't know how I would even start to find him, really. This is Josh's little corner here. He's got, he's got his tractor. Where's your tractor? Should, why don't you? And what he does is he picks all this poo up for me. Do you want to make do this for Mum? Not today, no. So he's even he's fed up with it. We're all fed up with picking up shit, but you know you can't expect the animals to pick it up. See, I, you can tell I like Michelle because I asked her to do this and I'm doing it. We had this one au pair. I came for an interview in a skirt and some stiletto boots. And it was in the middle of the winter and there was pig shit everywhere and there she was stomping around. Hold those for Mum because I've got to do an impersonation. This is her with the broom and her long nails. Now, look, I, have, I would never employ anyone that's got long red nails. You've got to imagine these nails are red, not like mine chewed off. And she goes, I don't do the sheet. And I went, oh, is that right? So I thought, I'll soon sort you out. So I said, right, come on now, this is how I get you back into it. I said, sweet, flip the shit along like this. I'm going like this. She's like a dealing yard in au pairs, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think she sells them. No, you've got to tell the truth. All oh, right, yeah, you've had a few. <laughs> <laughs> Darren, what 
do you think of our new au pair then? Yeah, she can speak good English anyway. <laughs> what country are you from? Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe? Yeah. Is that a safe country or? Not at the moment, no. Uh. You don't want to go there for honeymoon, Darren? No, no. Just please don't. Looks very nice. Look how smart you look. So, right, can I take it back then? Um, tie her up on the gate then. Pick that shit up, Michelle. Yep. She's been there for ages. <laughs> oh, it's brilliant. It's fantastic. It's home away from home. I love it. All the animals and cleaning them and just being around animals again. It's just really, I've really settled down. Marks out of ten. Um, um, oh, I can't say ten, can I? Because, to, because you know, because otherwise she thinks she's perfect and then... You know, there'd be no room for improvement, so I'll say nine. Pretty good. It's pretty good, isn't it, nine? Really? So that means there's room for a bollocking. <laughs> you know. Bloomy. Bloomy. Isn't he lovely? Isn't he the most adorable thing? He won't drink all this. And then I'll feed him in a couple of hours again. Thing is, you mustn't sit him on your lap and have his back feet sticking out because that's when he struggle. They never kick their mum, you see, when they're in the parish. Let's see how he likes to hold your hand. He's the full, but he's done really well. Look, he's asked 50 mils of milk. I have to wipe it up because it stinks in his pouch. He'll go in for a little bit and then you think he's shy. She's had a baby. Oh. Oh, She's a mummy now. I can't so believe we've got a baby. Now. <laughs> we can't see it though. Did you see it alive? Yeah, it was moving oh, and excellent. breathing. Oh. I'm just so excited. Oh my god. <laughs> we'll best leave yeah. her. She'll just leave her. She's stressed. Oh, oh isn't that brilliant? She must just be born. Must just, I mean, it's still wet, but um, well, Jingle won't interfere. Shall we go down and bottle the shampoo? Oh, didn't Shall we? Shall we drink? <laughs> Come on, <laughs> shut the gate. <laughs> Caught on camera, the full force of Zimbabwe's state evicts one of the country's few remaining white farmers. My aunt and uncle on the farm, they, they could get a phone call tomorrow, for instance, saying, look, you better, you've got 24 hours to get off your farm, get packed. It's unpredictable, it could be any time. When you see it, because we didn't see it there on the telly, um, yeah, it's quite a shock, actually. I just feel hopeless because I can't really do anything. I can't help my family back home. When you see all the riots and the people queuing and they get angry because they're hungry and they want to get in the queue and there's all these security guards and policemen and with batons and that really scared me a lot. I hated it. I feel really unsafe. We couldn't get any meat or... You know, we didn't have enough fuel to go into town, then we would go hungry for a day, maybe, or a night, you know. These people are queuing for maize. The UN says a quarter of Zimbabwe's 12 million people are now in urgent need of food. Often find one and now I think, wow, I'm being spoilt now, really, I am. All the luxuries and the cheese and a lot of leftover meat that is not off, or not going to go off, that just, you know, chuck it in the bin, doesn't matter. I'm not used to that at the moment. <laughs> Josh's friend Stefan has come over to help think of a name for the baby reindeer. Chinese chicken. We're going to think of a name for our new reindeer. The important thing, we have to think of a girl's name and a boy's name. It could be Toby. Oh, that's nice. That's not a nice name. Not talking with your mouthful, are you? But that doesn't matter. Does. You toy your mouthful now. Be nice. Michelle, why have I got all your hairs in my potato salad? That is I'm... disgusting. <laughs> I'm molting. I'm losing my hair. Working here. Yeah. <laughs> so listen, now you're going to tell me what you did at school today. It's probably um, it's secret. Oh, it's yeah. a, bone, a bone, yeah. So we've got no idea what we're spending our money on. 
No. All right, now, we'll no. pretend then. Look, Josh is good at French. We'll pretend Josh is doing the register. Michelle, what's your surname? Palmer. Palmer. Michelle <laughs> Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> Michelle Palm Tree. <laughs> Good, Stefan. Shell fat bomb. Right, listen. Trixie, don't eat that cat because she's having kittens. We need the money. Oh, that looks nice, Josh. You have had it, purple. See, that isn't. See, you have that purple. Yeah. They call it red fur. The baby reindeer can't stand up and is struggling to feed, so Jackie's called the vet. It's, he thinks it's four a month too early. Premature. And that's why it's struggling for breath. Yeah. And oh. it's too weak to get up, so it can't feed from its mother. So yeah. we've got to keep it warm in the house. It's the only chance it's got, because if it's born premature, it can't stand up to suckle. Yeah. And he exactly. can see by its face, it's sort of... Um, how often do we have to feed? Just feed. every little and often. I'll feed it. <laughs> we need to put a little blank, little box or a bed for it, don't we? Sheepskin from Josh's room. Yeah, that'd be good. Well done, Michelle. And then at night. Now we we've to got to go back down bottle. there and we've got to milk Belle again before she dries up. Okay. What about a hot water bottle underneath? Yeah. The baby reindeer didn't survive the night. Oh, gee. Just done shock. Michelle, that milk's off. Oh, it's all right. We used to milk like this. It's fine. I do feel at home. I love it here. But um, I do sometimes feel really, not not welcome, but out of my, uh, uncomfortable. Michelle's been with Jackie four weeks and she's made some friends locally. Jackie's very strict on times and I'm finding that quite difficult at the moment. We've had a few fallouts already about it. One of my friends phoned me and said, look, would you like to come out? And I said, um, not really, because I need to feed all the animals. You know, I've got a lot of things to do and they actually just pitched up and arrived. And Jackie's like, well, what are they doing here? And they turn up honking in my driveway, my yard, Come on, come on, quarter four. We text you this morning, gonna play pool. And I said, well, can I go? I don't want to drop you in it, you know. And she said, no, 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 it's fine, you can go. Well, no one said to me, oh, you know, we're gonna take Michelle for a game of pool tonight. My friend, she went up to Jackie and said, look, I know you close the doors at nine. If she's not back by nine, she will stay with us. Who goes to play pool at quarter to four in the evening? And we weren't back by nine. Anyway, so I stayed the night with my friends and I was stressing the whole night because I knew there was going to be trouble. Jackie suspects Michelle is secretly working for her friends and that's why she stayed away. Babysitting or whatever, or whatever she was doing. I mean, you know, they were texting each other all the time. I said to her, I said, Jackie, let's not fight about this, you know. And plus she was worried about me wanting to leave and find another job. That's the main reason why we did fall out. I think any au pair's going to come over, aren't they? They're going to stay with you for a while. They're going to be happy to earn the money they're earning because they're lucky they've got a job. They're got, going to get their feet under the table. They're going to meet new friends and someone else is going to offer them a job. They're going to get a taste of the Western lifestyle and, you know, they're going to go... F they're not going to stay with you forever. They're going to move on. Because she said to me, she said, are you going to go and find another job? I said, no, I'm not. I'm just going out. I need to get out, you know? You keep telling me to go out and enjoy yourself after hours. And then when I do, I feel that you attacking me. Let's just tidy up, Michelle. Make I'll do everything, nice. yeah. It's disgusting. I'll be moving out if it gets any dirtier. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it. No worries. Michelle? Yeah? I've just been in the office and the turtle isn't there. Where is it? Oh, I've got it outside on the bench. I'll get it. Thank you. She left it out, didn't she, in a bucket. Good job I asked. Dogs would have eaten it. Week five, and Jackie's worried Michelle's becoming forgetful. 
it's as if you're like waiting for something to go wrong. You don't really trust, but you're testing, you know? That they're gonna, you're, you're looking for them to slip up. And then they do. And then I'm not surprised. I've had to pull her up on a couple of things, like um, she's forgotten some things and hasn't fed, you know, given the ducks, you know, water. I must remember to give the ducks some water. Uh, yeah, you can if you want, if you don't trust me. And I must remember to turn the hose pipe off. <laughs> feed the doves. Mmm! And I must remember to feed the doves when they haven't got any corn. Starving, poor things. I don't want to ever come home again and find the doves not got any corn or water, because that, that was just not I know, fair. don't worry. I will make You've sure got next time. When you just like... I know there's a lot to remember around here, but when you just come in for a cup of coffee or something... Anyway, we're not going to have this problem again because I'm doing checklists today. There's checklists going everywhere. There'll be checklists in your room. When you're sat on the Bathroom. toilet having a crap, there's going to be a checklist. Excellent. OK? It's a whole lot better now. So I'm, that's what I'm going to be today and I'm going to leave you to get on with the house. No problem. All right? I'm going now. OK, do you? <laughs> Enjoy making my checklist. You need some water. I've done that. Don't have to put that on the checklist either. I have a coffee in about half an hour. Yeah, OK. If you say so. Bloody hell. I can't be dealing with this. Right, let me go and have a fag. Yeah. Hi, Millie. Stay inside, darling. The next door neighbour who lives across the road there, he, this is his field and he was busy um, baling his hay. And he came over to Jackie and I, I, I was out on the weekend and um, he said, uh, is there somebody smoking because I've left, you know, there's lots of buds in front of my gate and I don't appreciate it. And I'm like, when she told me the story and I thought, oh God, you know, so I think he's, I think that's why she's now been really questioning me about, you know, I can smell smoke and so I'm a bit worried that the next door neighbours kind of put me in the dog box. When she came for the interview, she said to me that she didn't smoke. She clearly said she didn't smoke. If she just said, yes, I do smoke, I wouldn't have given her the job. It's about 10 today. Today we, well, we had, um, well, we let Michelle go today, this morning, actually. We made a decision. I really made a decision. I nearly made a decision the last time when um, she went over to these people and, you know, we knew she was working for them. Sacked after seven weeks, Michelle's now gone to stay with the friends where Jackie suspected she was moonlighting. Typical au pair behaviour, rubbish on the floor, bed not stripped, left for me to wash, hoover the room, clean out the wardrobe, wipe everything down, ready for the next au pair. Bag of rubbish. It's smoking up here as well, I think, in our house. It's not on, is it, really? As the day's gone on now, I'm just so glad she's gone. Jumpers. You know, what am I to think? Do, do, is she coming back for it? Is it rubbish? More jumpers? Am I, am I supposed to burn it? How can you live your life like that? You know, that just reflects on what sort of person you are, isn't it? You just go around the countryside, you know, leaving your clothes behind for someone else to clear up. With my rush, because she kept shouting from downstairs, pack your bags, get out, get out. I was just in such a, a tiz, you know, I mean, I had my bag on my bed and I just literally just threw all my clothes. Didn't have time to pack properly. So that was, ooh, that was not left on purpose. Copy of her CV. But you know what? The girl's mad. Picture of her as a baby. What did she leave that for? picture of her as a little girl on the telephone. I mean, she used to go on about how these things were so sentimental to her, and how can you just go and leave it? Those are my mum, so I, I definitely need to get those back. 
Ah, oh, totally forgot about those. I hope she'll let me pick them up. Right, another one bites the dust. Onwards and upwards. Your hand on your heart, you weren't working. No, I oh, saw my mother's grave. Not at all. Not at all. Wouldn't, I'm, I'm, not, I'm an honest person. If I want to leave, I will say, listen, you know, Jackie, this is not working out. I'm going to move on. But it didn't turn out that way, so it turned out really nasty. <laughs> There's hundreds and hundreds of au pairs out there. I don't care if I have one a week, because if I don't get a job done right, then that's how it'll have to be, you know? There's plenty, plenty of girls out there that can work well. It's not hard work, it's just that, you know, you've got to have a standard. Joshua, no! Put that down! I feel really awful because he's so young. He didn't understand what was going on. I, I, honestly, I didn't get time to say goodbye. So, yeah, I won't be seeing him again. We had fun together. You used to call me Fat Bum and, you know, and play with me and colour and take him for pony rides, play with him on the jumping castle and with Billy the kid, the goat. Yeah, I'm going to miss a lot, actually. Did Mummy tell you Michelle left? And what do you think about that? Say. So, you sad? Yeah. Did you like Michelle? <laughs> Shall we find another Michelle? Tell Mummy what you want what you want me to find you this time. Uh. What, what do you want her to look like and be like? So an animal au pair or a Joshua au pair? Animal au pair. Okay. And what do you want her to look like? Do you not mind? No, as long as she's nice and kind to you. And tell them and share with me. And she shares with you. Yeah. Hello, yes. Yeah. I was wondering if you could help me. I yeah. believe you might have known my father, um, Philip John Johnson. I remember Philip. He had a brother called Raymond. Okay, yeah. Um, I, was, I know where he lives. Raymond, his brother. Would you be able to... uncle to you, wouldn't it? That would be wonderful if you could give me his address and or phone um, number, please. Michelle starts searching for the father she's never met. She has his birth certificate and rings the address where he was born 64 years ago. Amazingly, they remember him. Thank you very much for your help. OK, then. Bye. Phew. Gee, OK. Quite scary, actually. <laughs> Gee. This is actually, yeah, real. It's, it, it just feels like it was... It was just on paper, there was nothing behind it. There's more to it. Oh, come on, Fern. I'm shaking. I'm so, so happy. I just can't believe it. My whole body is shaking. My heart is pounding. Oh, but don't, don't really shake them all, sweetheart. Daddy's here for you. Oh, I've waited all my life for this. I oh. really, really have. Oh, bless you. Dad, do I have any other sisters or 
Yes, you do have. I do. How <laughs> <laughs> many? Got, you got you got seven sisters, darling. Seven. Yeah. Oh, very very happy. And please tell everybody, all my half sisters, and that I'm looking forward to meeting them all. Bye. Bye. God bless. Oh my goodness gracious me. Mm. I just went to my dad. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> Two and a half stone I've lost. I went on a diet, I was fed up with being fat bum. But I can call him big tum and fat bum. Fat bum. It's three months since Michelle left. And Jackie's in a garden centre in Devon. She's on her Christmas reindeer tour. There was a gentleman here yesterday who had been on a survival course and, and all there was to eat when he got there was lichen. You try some. Go on. <laughs> we probably would have been out of it once or time. No, he was on a survival course and he ate it. Is it nice? And he survived. And he survived. Oh, good for him. Lovely. So don't go and die, will you? Sue me. <laughs> We've got a lichen eater. They believe anything. This woman yesterday, she said, um, so how do you keep the reindeer in the pen then? And I said, um, well, they just stay in there, really. She said, but don't they fly out? What is that? So I said, no. She said, well, when do they fly? I said, not yet, not until they get the magic dust. Oh, yes, of course. She believed it. No, don't pour it on Billy's head. With the pressures of running her animal business, Jackie's had to make some sweeping changes in the way she picks her au pairs. We've now got two Italians. And um, it's really funny, really, because I've been so paranoid about trying to find the perfect person for the job. And this time I just thought, oh, I just can't be bothered to go through all that again. And they are so funny and they are so good. And they try to speak Italian to each other, but I tell them off to speak English. You're not allowed to speak Italian. I'm ready to go off on my journey to see my dad for the first time. Nerve wracking. <laughs> Packed, got all my photos ready. So, um, a bit exciting. <laughs> End of my circle of searching for him, just my dream come true. Just, I can't imagine, I don't know how to explain it. I just, I don't know. It'd just be all my answers, really. I've been wondering all the time about my dad, where he's been, if he's remembered me, if he's missed me. So, answer all to all my questions. Hey, who's eating my skirt? Not me. Not me. It's, 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 it's Mummy. I just got a message from the au pairs. Hello, can you hear me? Okay, well, I'll be home later. Okay, and, you, and you're okay? All the animals are fine then? No, no problems. Okay, ciao! Ciao! They've taught me that, it means goodbye, I think. Ciao. I wanted to improve my English, but <laughs> with animals it's not so easy. They both speak about four or five languages. They're both qualified as teachers, but they're over here now to perfect their English. What kind of vocabulary? Can you just tell me what new words you've learned? Oh, reindeers, feeding, uh, all the animals' names. Grass for the horses, uh, corn for the chickens, uh, guinea pigs are sort of animals I didn't know before. All the animals' names and their food and... Uh, wheelbarrow and fork. <laughs> oh, there are lots of names. 
I mean, it's like, it's like, the, it's like, you know, Mafia's moved in. <laughs> I said that to them. I said, oh, it looks like we're spending Christmas with the Mafia. <laughs> about the weather. <laughs> Coming into Wales is just a new beginning for me. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually done this all by myself. It's just unbelievable. Emotion is just running wild at the moment. <laughs> My whole body's shaking. Goodness. Oh, come on. I can't be him. He said he had Mercedes. I hope. Michelle's father has asked to meet her first before he takes her back to the rest of the family. <laughs> and it's not in the cold, believe me. It's not the cold. <laughs> And we've had one girl, she broke the dustbin, she'd only been here an hour, she, she's ever so clumsy, you know, she broke the dustbin, she broke the hoover, we had to have Dyson come out and repair our hoover, she broke loads of stuff, and she crash, say? bang, wallop, crashed about a week. Try too hard to get it right and then get it wrong. Maybe I'm expecting too much from somebody. 